guys. Want to see some mail? Got some cool stuff here. I got a box from Army ATC 22 in Germany. And this Canadian post is a massive, massive, massive PC card who I told you guys I was looking for that card. Um, and I got it, obviously. I don't know what this one is. So, let's open this one first since I know this. The massive one is awesome. Ooh, I do know what this is. What is this? Ah, thank you for your business. I see. Man, getting focused, camera. These cards are nasty. This is tight. Real tight. And I'm going to tell you what, this card, you can make an argument for it. So, in fact, go ahead and argue. You tell me what's better. This one or the last one that I'll do. I'll do Alex's second. I don't know. This booklet is a quad auto. You tell me if you like it better than the other card. Quite frankly, I don't know that I do. It's a toss-up. It is a toss-up. Quadrograph book from Tops 5 Star. What up? Good lord, that's beautiful. Griffey Ripken Jr. Frank Thomas. Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn was supposed to be on card. The only reason he's not is because he had passed away, so they had to use one of the stickers they already had. Luckily, they used a great sticker quality-wise. So, beautiful card out of 10. Number 3 of 10. Unbelievable. Love it. That is freaking nasty. Wow. Absolutely nasty. Jeez. I love it. I'm thrilled about that card. Like I said, it might not be the best card in this mill deck. Let me open uh, Alex's. Let me get to that other one. That's pretty crazy. I'm not sure what Alex sent. I'm trying to think. I might have to buy something off him or trade him. I don't even know. Maybe just sent something randomly. I really don't know. So, sorry Alex. I don't know if I'm supposed to be aware of what this is or not. I mean, it wouldn't be for our fantasy league. You already paid up on that. Can't get the box open here. Okay. Give me a blue bubble miller. It's a good sign. Blue's more valuable. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Star Wars cards. I am in that, uh, shoot, what was the study? I'd say 3% or 8% or something like that. Americans have not seen the movie. I've never seen Star Wars. I've never even seen, like, people are like, I don't know. They did talk about stuff like the opening credits and all that. I'm aware of it. I've heard conversations about it. I've not seen three straight seconds of it, so. Um, just not in sci-fi, so. Oh, uh, yeah, I bought this off Oh man, it's nasty. So I didn't even realize I was getting a Griffey. I forgot about it. That is sick. If anybody does a trade with me soon, need some Star Wars cards, you can have those because, you know, I don't know what to do with them. I'm assuming they're not valuable, but I have no clue. So, anyway, uh, good packaging, Alex. So I appreciate that, man. And obviously, sent it priority and all is good. But yeah, I bought this off him. Um, I think he got in a group break or maybe he won it in a Raz. Doesn't really matter, though. It's out of 10. Gold autograph. Just a beautiful card. I have some other versions of this. This one's in my watch list, so he was able to get this to me for a fair price, so just did that. I'd rather buy off a friend all day than buy off some person on eBay that potentially could try to scam me or have a damaged card or something like that, so that's really nasty. Most videos, that would be the centerpiece. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> Picked a bad video. <laughs> and this uh, package from Canada. The last package. It is not a hockey card. Yeah, it better not be anyway. Um, how do I open this? I haven't opened any of this product, so I taped it. Need to be careful because this card is nasty. It's not a quad auto. It is something different. Can you tape? Put on one. Let's rip this box. Just gonna do this. I don't need the box. I just need the card, sir. Go. There we go. Boom. 
That was tough enough. And there it is. <laughs> so another Ripken uh, with him. So this card is out of five from Museum. I had shown you the, I have the Mark McGuire duel with Griffey, and I have the Cal Ripken Jr. duel with Griffey. Um, the triple though, they kept Cal and Sam McGuire, they got Greg Maddox on there. So this is extra special because Cal is in many ways credited with being the guy who saved baseball after the strike in 94. So he's credited for the most part by most people as saving the game. Griffey by far is the most popular player in the history of baseball, and that's proven by sales of jerseys. Um, people turning their hats backwards, other players saying that was their favorite player. Uh, overwhelmingly, most liked player by fans. And Greg Maddox, so obviously stole Griffey Jr.'s swing when I was a kid. Who didn't, right? Um, <clears throat> and Greg Maddox is who I stole a windup of. And by age 15, I was throwing harder than Greg Maddox, but nowhere near the perfect precision accuracy of this World Series champ badass. So anyway, that triple means a lot to me because of what these guys meant to me in the 90s. I was beyond a baseball fan in the 90s. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you probably were as well, if you were alive, because some of you guys are younger. But this was the best time to watch baseball, in my opinion. I still love the game. I loved it when I was younger than this, but like the mid-90s, late-90s, and yeah, that's right in the height of the steroid stuff. Doesn't matter. Unbelievable to watch baseball. So like right after the strike to like 2001, maybe, just a wonderful time in baseball. So maybe not the best time ever, but it was awesome. It was really awesome for fans. So these guys... These three are a perfect threesome, so to speak. Like I said, numbered out of five. Beautiful autographs, and it's on card. So kind of like the, the quadrograph on card. So nasty. Thanks for watching, guys. Alex, thanks for the uh, quick and safe shipping, man. Later, guys.